Good morning, folks. Ooh, it's it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm excited because I get to play. I get to stream like a lot today, hopefully, and so we get to play some more stuff like Wayward, which is coming up next. Play more RimWorld, see what other shenanigans we get into, and more Minecraft, so I can just have my VOD muted because I like to listen to music. <laughs> but yeah, first up is Wayward, which we're good. We've we've got to gear up because the monsters of the island are dangerous. They they hurt bad, and we've got to have better armor to deal with that. Because up until now, we've been able to kind of skirt by, but we're starting to see stuff like krakens and skeleton mages and shit, and they're a little dangerous. But we are going to get started with that. But before that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. If that sounds like something that appeals to you or sounds like something you'd want to support, I have a donation button below my stream that will take you to the tilt of my page. I also have a exclamation point donate command that will also take you there. My chatbot shares this command every 30 minutes for ease of access. And when the, the stream screen comes up, that's a statement. When the stream screen comes up, I have a QR code that will be in the bottom of the screen that will also take you to the Tiltify page. Any way you choose to do so is really appreciated. I don't see any money from this. I, it just helps me fundraise while I play my special interest brainworm games. So <laughs> if, if you do contribute, thank you. Hell, even if you just hang out and watch thank you <laughs> uh <clears throat> excuse me so let's see oh wait i don't know why we're excited <laughs> good morning three g's good morning thank you so much for stopping in i pre i appreciate you and it's nice to see you let me see here I, I hate how much I fucking work, because I was not able to watch any of your streams this week, and that sucks, because the new Metroid looks cool as shit, like the new uh, remaster or whatever. Uh, let me get the game loaded, and we can still chatter about <clears throat> going-ons and such. Uh, come on, game. But I hope you're doing well this morning. I know it's like 8 a.m. here for me. I can't imagine it's much better there. <laughs> Wherever there may be, I can't quite recall. So, oh, probably West Coast at some, of some persuasion. In that case, I, I, I just can't recall at this very moment where exactly, but that's fine. Yeah, we are um, continuing with some wayward. I think we were working on some bronze armor last time. It's it's been a hot minute. Ah, Denver. Okay, not really, not that far in the grand scheme of things from where I am. I'm in Illinois, but I think we we're working on some bronze armor. Yeah, we got a chest, some chest armor here, because bronze armor is much better than the scale shit I've been running around with. Tinning gets on the floor. I think one of our limiting factors for making more bronze. To, oh, we got we have more bronze. Um, perhaps I should make a helmet too. It's not guaranteed to actually make this stuff because it's a very high skill requirement. But oh, uh, the fire's out. Oh, let's uh, change that. <clears throat> Music in this game is so good. Oh, wow, we made it first try. Okay, well. Helmet up. Like, like, if you look at the defense bonus, it's a little small and hard to see. But, like, base defense is uh, two for this skill helm. And it has, like, some resistances, like fire and... Like, minus one blunt, minus one piercing. Bronze is plus eight at base. Uh, minus one blunt and minus two cold, but even still, it's very good armor, even if you do cold damage. 
So we're gonna equip that to our head. Switch these around. Our defense is now 42, which is huge. That's like, that's a lot. And our malign is very high <laughs> for making all this armor because, yeah, that's kind of how that goes. I'm gonna just continue to put our, uh, all our scale mail stuff kind of in the same place. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some nasty. Oh, <laughs> there's a rat of unusual size. Boop. I was just gonna. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a monster outside. What? What was I doing over here? What? Did I start this fire? I think I did. <laughs> there's just a beach fire. <laughs> what? I can't. It's been like two weeks or so since I booted up this file because I couldn't stream the last Saturday. So I'm just like, there's just like a random fire on the beach. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just do some wacky shit. Okay, so we've... I think as far as armor goes, I'm going to keep the, uh, the belt, the shoes, and the gloves, not bronze. So we need, still need a, a Bevor, or a Gorget or whatever, and some leggings out of bronze. Let's see, can I, f let's cook chop fish, bronze, we still need leggings, which I think are greaves in this case. We need 10 more for that. And let's see, is it a Bevor? It is a Bevor, so we need like, we need 16 more bronze ingots at minimum to do what we need to do. We have one. We've got a bunch of iron here. <clears throat> got some copper. Yeah, I think one of our limiting factors is Was why is ten over here? And I think we do have some copper ore laying around somewhere. We just might not have the stuff to actually do anything with it. Uh, let's take a look. Oh well. What am I saying? We got plenty of uh, talcum powder at least. So let's uh, light this up. Turn all of our uh, our copper into bronze. It's not a guarantee that we actually succeed in doing so. All right, well, and now let's see. Bronze greaves. Oh, we had to light the fire again. It the fire went out. <laughs> Bronze Greaves created. Nice. Those are heavy, but well worth the wait. Very defensive. Nine defense compared to um, three. <laughs> so yeah, our, our, our defense score is just climbing higher and higher, which is perfect. Okay, and then... A bronze bevor needs six. We must have like another one in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we do. I was like, wait, I only count five. Like, I know I'm gay and counting's impossible, but like. All right, well, that is all of our bronze armor. It 
it's all just base quality. Cause craft, cause crafting like tools and stuff that have higher qualities is pretty uncommon usually. So we'll just we just kind of have to make deal with that. <clears throat> That's okay. Our defense shut up, but massively. Now the only thing would be to uh oh, right on time. Thank you for your goo. <laughs> we could do some weight reduction shenanigans with that stuff. Which I think we're actually going to do because... Yeah, we've been able to like... Uh, I think last stream, yeah, we, we, were, we were refining down our... Uh, we were refining down our chest piece and our uh, kite shield here to make them weigh less because... They still, that still weighs like 7.2 pounds, but it was quite a bit more, like by like at least two or so weight. So any weight we can reduce on this is just more room we have for other stuff. So let's, oh, there's a living rock. Why are you here? You know what? Where's, where's my bag full of tools? Um... We will we'll melee it with our uh, pickaxe. We're not playing Minecraft, but we're gonna pretend. Did it die? You have killed a living rock. Great. G good for me. Uh... All right, cool. Uh, I was just trying to uh, start my fire here, and then there's just a living rock hiding under my pile of ashes. Weird. Um, put that back in there. Let's close these. Don't really need them open. Got our grub bag here. Keep that open, I guess. Get some, let's get some seawater. Uh, we could actually stand to eat something. So let's. Um, that's cooked tentacles. At first, I thought that was like wood scrap or something. I'll eat. Sort that by decay, so we'll be able to see the stuff that's got less durability left, which is technically this. So we'll, uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, we'll make some slime glue out of our two bottles of seawater we just got. Let's head back inside before we get ambushed by like 10 other things. <laughs> I'll just kind of come over here. All right, so not you. you you're 7.1, you're already kind of fine. You're already kind of fine. You, we're gonna start, we're gonna, first we're gonna repair, which means this needs to be lit, of course. Uh, we're gonna repair our bronze, uh, or bronze greaves and then we're gonna start refining it it drops the, dur the durability drastically but it reduces the weight by 0.1 uh, okay we got it down to like one durability we reduce some weight off of it Looks like by 0.5. Uh, let's reinforce it with slime glue again. And now it's pretty high back up there. Repair it again, and we'll continue. That's at bare minimum, like one pound of weight just gone off of this item set now. Okay, and then we'll reinforce it again. And since we don't have any more glue, we'll stop there for now. We can always continue. Uh, let's see. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, we have way too much ore. <laughs> like, I don't know if we're gonna ever use all of that. Like, that's like way too much stuff. Cause we got this stuff now, and unless we like somehow break it and lose it, we're gonna be fine on uh, bronze and tin and all that for probably the rest of the playthrough, which admittedly might not be going on much longer. I'll be completely honest, because, well, the, the end goal of this game is to, um, the end goal of this game is to find, like, all the treasure and then sail back to civilization, which I'm going to consider that probably the end goal as well for me playing it, because last time I did that, I think you just had to make a boat and leave. I don't think you had to actually get all the treasures, so... Something I am interested in getting is an iron axe, because that should be like the best axe. Should be the best axe? Should be. I'll compare bronze and iron, because those are the only two that matter at this point in my life. So let's see, um, the bronze double axe is, uh, chop eight. Which is pretty strong. Equip, equip is uh, ten slashing damage. <laughs> uh, let's see, so iron is... Iron is actually not top tier. It would be bronze. Okay, well, listen to me just talking up my ass. Oh, we're not going to need any more bronze? Surely. I do... Hmm. How does my pickaxe compare to the to a bronze pick? Iron pick is the best, but bronze axe is the best? I wonder if it's because it's considered a weapon that it's better. Hmm. Hard to say, but... We will work on getting that instead then. Okay, we have to light the fire again and let's see. Eight? Am I gonna need eight for this? Let's see, where was it? Uh yeah, we need eight, so I'll make eight. <clears throat> okay, we'll head over here. And I think I also need like a pole or something. Yeah, I need I need talcum powder and I need a uh... That's those are both limestone powder. Uh, we should have some talcum powder in here somewhere. Surely. That's limestone powder still. Um, it's a little hard to tell which one is which. Uh, kind of. Uh, we'll go grab this one. And then we need to go find a very good pole. We're doing this so we can have just a better weapon because our current weapon that we've been using for most of our playthrough is a granite axe, which is great, but it's like six damage less than. Because. There's just dead bodies over here. <laughs> Jesus. Um, hmm. I could swear I've been like retaining some high tier uh, uh, poles around here somewhere. D did I use them for something? I might have like. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
All right. Um, well, there's that. There, there's another good reason for us making better weapons, because with our, uh, with our malign so high, we get all sorts of nasty stuff spawning like these bastards. Resistant to blood and fire, so you, you have to chop at it a little bit. Um... Um, yeah, we're gonna not let that happen. <laughs> um, Let's see, we've got a uh, purple, we got an exceptional log from this, which gave us an exceptional plank. And if we dismantle that, yes, I was hoping we'd get a, a, an, an exceptional uh, a pole for that. And that'll be what we need to make this axe properly. Let's see, where is it? There it is, okay. All right, that makes a uh, a pretty powerful tool that replaces our uh, that will replace our other thing. I'll hold on to our other thing for if we for some reason you know need to keep it, but we're probably just made our 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 more or less la our full time uh, weapon. Let's get a drink of water <laughs> from our, our st we're just like avoiding this like big ass plant monster. Uh, let's drink some water. I'll drink some more water because, all right. Well, it poisoned me, but I did like 10 damage to it. Oh, it can't hurt me. Are you also an aberrant? No, you're just a, you're just a, a normal I didn't say run from me, you asshole. Okay. Kablam. Uh. Oh, we killed it. <laughs> I, th I think that alone just like shows how um, powerful it is to have really good gear because that thing could not. I think it hit me like once and it poisoned me, but that's literally all I took from it. Let me see. let me scroll through the log here. Oh, I'm sorry. It hit me for two damage, and I mitig and I parried the blow, mitigating one of the damage. It poisoned me, but the poison didn't last long enough to really fucking matter. And yeah, I feel like with that, that just kind of shows how important it was that we did <laughs> did this, because yeah. Our next step is going to be um, going to a island, doesn't really matter which, but I need to start finding those treasures. I don't know specifically which ones they are, but I know there are, there's at least a couple. Wiki time! <clears throat> All right, Wiki.
Okay, searching for treasure didn't really turn up the, uh, let's see, there's a gold sword, gold coins, gold key, gold sexton, which I know we have that at least. Yeah, we have, we've got the gold sexton. I might keep uh, one of these backpacks open strictly for the gold stuff. Uh, let me look at the other ones here. Currently don't have much idea of where to find these other than underground and treasure chests, so that's kind of what we're just gonna have to go with, I guess. <laughs> Exciting as that those creatures were to fight, I think I'm gonna go to do a sleep here. Let's drop off some stuff, I guess. Oh, that's a rock. That's a wall. <laughs> uh. gonna we'll just sleep in the dark whatever I don't have fire starting stuff on me that's what we're gonna do when it's light out and we can actually see <laughs> there's probably gonna be something nasty waiting for us oh it's a wolf well it was a wolf <laughs> Oh look, it's a spider. Oh, well, it was a spider. We got a bunch of garbage up here. Oh boy. Uh, we're just gonna. Uh, oh, I need to set this to be. Uh, Uh, we're gonna have to change this slot. And we'll move it down. Move that down here. Chop. Use bronze double axe. Alright, now I can use this to cut trees. Very effective. Jeez. Christ, that thing just shredded that tree. We're just gonna cut down some trees because it's really easy to. It's really easy just to cut down trees to get a bunch of uh, stuff for making fires.
Technically, this tree bark can be used to start fires, but it's a little heavy. Oh, it's a spider, huh? All right, bye. <laughs> I don't even want its stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, you can have, y'all can have fun together. <laughs> just leave that spider meat with the other spider meat, because I just don't need it. There's even more. I've just been fighting spiders, apparently. Okay, I'll drop that. Are these? Just normal seeds. Yeah, they're not very good seeds. Oh, notice there's a slime. Let's go to dismantle and we'll... Let's pick apart these. Okay. This is labor a labor intensive way to get stuff to make fires with, but it's very it's very guaranteed. This is made to all these poles to dowels. We can go one further. We got some branches. We can dismantle those. Get some stuff too. And then we dismantle those poles. <laughs> Got some leaves and some twigs. The reason I like leaves and twigs is because twigs are like 0.1 most of the time and leaves are usually 0.1 also. So they're extremely lightweight. And these dowels are also pretty lightweight right now. Oh, I have rocks. I, ran, I think I ran into a wall. That was a me problem, and I'm just like, hmm, why'd I do that? <laughs> uh, let's move you, like, up here. Make this bigger so I can kind of see more of what I'm actually doing, because... As you can see, we have a fair few um, more um, we have a fair few more leaves than we do twigs here. By one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want more. We want to obtain more dowels than. Uh, We'll retain six more dowels. Well, I think dowels at least. Yeah, we'll retain six more dowels than we, um, than, um, wood scrap. So let's see, we got one, four, seven, fourteen. Okay, and we got the same of each, so fourteen, uh, we need. So that means we want to do eight of these dowels turned into this tinder. Okay, and now we can move all of these to fire starting. And then we can move all of these to fire starting. And that will now give us plenty of stuff to start fires with for underground adventures because that's kind of where we're, we're gonna have to be going is to find these treasures we have to go underground it's partly why i made the uh the bron the better armors because we're gonna be dealing with some shit <laughs> For that, we're also going to have travel rations like these cucumbers are generally pretty good they last quite a while as you can see, we've got a lot of cucumbers that are ripening and doing their thing. So we'll probably start picking those and sorting things out that way.
good thing of rely of relying on like these plant foods over these like meats and stuff is they tend to weigh less and they also usually heal uh, hydration too. Before it goes completely, completely bad and decays, let's at least use up a few of these meats that are kind of on the worse side there. Okay, that one, that one's empty, that one's empty, this one is not. Let's take a drink. And you know, we'll drink, we'll drink the other, from this other one too. And then we can refill these very easily. Oh, look, a shark. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Purified, purified, and... Okay, so the top row is still just full. Some more glue. We can use that to do another refinement kind of thing on one of our things. <sighs> Honestly, yeah, we're gonna just turn these two meats into pemmican because it, uh. We'll just turn any meat that we have left over into pemmican. Um. Because at some point it's going to go bad and we're going to not want to deal with that, so. Pemmican is, well, it's kind of like a com combination of the two meats, so like the weight can vary, I think. But in general, it's all right. It's an, it'll keep you from starving to death, but it, the main advantage of it is that it doesn't have a uh, a shelf life like whatsoever. So you can just kind of make it, and then you have just that food forever, which is nice and all. Uh, pineapple. Hmm. Well, we, I did, I did, I was thinking, hmm, I could use some more brains. What are you doing? Are you, are you scared of me? You should be, holy shit. I didn't think I was gonna do that much to that poor shark. Well, with bones, we can combine those with, sh with brains <laughs> and make ourselves some pretty nice, uh... <clears throat> make ourselves some pretty sweet, um, glue. I keep thinking of, like, older versions where uh, animal pelts, pelts counted as fabric. I don't think they do anymore, which is a shame because it gives me even less reason to use animal pelts, <laughs> so there's just like a ton of animal pelts everywhere. Frankly, my beach is a bit of a mess, but yeah, the, the other alternative will be making a bunch of expensive chests that can hold like some of this stuff. And then I'd forget where I put it anyway, so at least if it's out here on the beach, I can see what I need and where, kind of. Enough. I don't think fiber is what I was looking for. Ooh, that's interesting. That must be new. Considering if 
Thaumaturgy is a skill I didn't know was in this game. <laughs> um, fabric. Oh, I don't have a needle, that's why. Right here, there's a, like, right here, there's a needle. Fabric, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah, all this cordage that's on the ground here, like, all this, like, spider silk and shit, we can use that to make, uh, fabric. And then we can use that with a pole and our tallow here to make more torches, because, yeah. You, you're gonna want to have torches if you're going underground. I don't think there's anything like night eye or anything like that. So you're gonna, like, definitely want... A good amount of torches. Uh, we, we've start, we've pre started preparing this kind of deal as well. Something else I could do is make some more bandages, because bandages would be good. We, maybe we should also make some iron uh, lock picks. I don't know if that's really good, but it could hardly be could hardly be bad. Let's see. Iron lockpick needs talcum powder. Okay. I should have some of that left over. Oh, we, we definitely got talcum powder. And we'll gra grab that. Iron lockpick, four, holy shit, okay. Um, I probably don't need any other lockpicks till the end of time, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, let's uh, just, uh, we'll just assemble the other lockpicks that we have, they're just tin. And if we need more, well, if we need more tin, well, there we go. I don't know how much more we're gonna, well, we might need to mine some other stuff, but otherwise I don't know if we need to really worry about our pickaxe too much more. <clears throat> it would likely be in our best interest, however, to, um, well, let's do some stuff. I don't need these little bark torches because I ran out of these tallow torches for a while, but I have since, um, gotten more. Matter of fact... As the one good thing these rat corpses can be good for is they give animal fat. So yeah, don't care less about just about any other part of the rat. But we also make more glue with the the stuff to refine something that we're gonna actually use. I, I, I know I'm hopping between 10 different things at all times with this game. That's that's because one, there's always ten, like 10 million different things to fucking do. And two, <laughs> I've got <laughs> my brain is fucking soup. <laughs> uh, my brain is a slurry of just garbage. So... Yeah, it shouldn't be any surprise that I'm just, like, easily distracted or otherwise. Make the tallow. We got the seawater. Let's make more glue. And we can, we'll probably end up reducing the weight of our, 
our axe, or maybe our greaves some more, because I, I think these animal these animal glues will do just fine for what we were doing earlier with the slime glue, and animal glue is way easier to get, because you just need bones and brains, and if you're really struggling to get the brains, if you once you get strong enough, sharks guaranteed drop some awful, well, it's like technically guts, but they look kind of like brains to me. Okay, and we get some more some more meat to eat. Now we can eat. And the good thing about these fish sticks is they have a pretty high durability, high uh, decay for for a meat. Like most uh, most meats don't have very much, very long decay, but. It looks like our sore stills here are filling up with some lovely goodness. Oh, so that's where my good bottle went. I was wondering where my good bottle was. Because just by virtue of this bottle being purple, um, if you see, if you look where it says drink, all those like purple like zero to fours are because of the quality of the bottle. Other than the other than the third set, which is hunger. So yeah, just having a high, a very high quality bottle can just restore more stuff than just you know. All on its own, it just gives more. You don't, like, not even including just, I don't know, existing. So, again, we're going to repair our bottles. Just to make sure they're nice and strong. All right, speaking of nice and strong, let's uh, let's let's try to trim some more weight off of these greaves. We have some glue to, to work with. just as fine okay now we got like this fire again oh is this already okay it's already been refined as much as it can that is fine by me, because now we can reinforce you and fix you, and that is as strong as it's going to probably get. But now it weighs six pounds. It's like two less weight than when we made it literally just a little bit ago. I think you can take r roughly the same amount of weight off of just about anything. took like point like seven off of this one's weight so that's just less weight that we have to haul around with us since we're you know, since it's like you know armor it would be with us at all times basically so drop you with the other animal claws 
we'll make it. We're gonna we're gonna try to stock up on tor these torches. So I need to get another pole. There should be some up yonder. So I saw a movement. I think it might have been a fish up. Out of the way. <laughs> Bonk. Okay, and then we'll make you. Or how did I fucking fail to craft that of all things? I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll keep this torch because it doesn't weigh that much anyway. I'll keep it, but that's like an emergency backup torch because, like, yeah. It's not very good. It's good enough, but. Eh. All right, so we've got a very good lock pick now. Things very high quality for lock picking, and it's also just like got a lot of durability too. Which if I can, get, if I can get some more glue, which not really as much of an if, honestly, about so much as like how am I gonna do it? Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got these spiders over here. They're just make they're just making a uh, silk. Well, making is a strong. Well, I mean they make it. Oh, the goats are no longer tamed either. Big ass rat. Yeah, those, those, those spiders have been at this uh, silk process for a while. Four, two, four, eight, and 69 normals. Jesus Christ. Those spiders were busy for a while. I must have just kind of forgot about them. Okay, we get this little staff. It's like an emergency teleport kind of. Oh, I did say I was gonna want some more glue. We can make another torch out of that too. And I guess another thing of a uh, pemmican as well. You you want to have the you want to have your uh, your fluids that you don't want used up to make all this glue shit. You want them at the back because things are used in the top left cor left of the inventory first. It's like if you see this, like I'm sure we have like this stuff, but like since this is the top left bottle of water, it will get used in making this glue. Good morning, Osgo. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate ya. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we, we're gonna use this like tainted poison meat to make some pemmican. Just just smash the toxins right out of it. <laughs> we are preparing to try to find treasure. I we made some armor. We've got mostly bronze armor now, which is, like, about, as far as I know, the best armor in the game. Like, defense-wise, at least. Oh, we got some more tallow we can use to make another, uh... We, we, we have some more animal fat we can use to make tallow to make another torch. We're, try we're also trying to get as many torches as we can, because, well... If you're, if you're exploring underground, it's usually good to have torches so you can see. It also means if we have to fight something that's weak to fire, we can smack them with our torch and not really worry about it. Stinky candles. Yeah, we're basically um, making we're bas we're basically making some like old school ass candles.
They're kind of like candle. I mean, they're like, um, I don't know how they're exactly composed, but it's basically like a stick, some fiber, some fiber to wrap around the tallow, and then some tallow. I'm guessing that's kind of how torches work in real life. But I also don't really know because I've never like made one myself. So, eh, you know. Yeah, we're we're like we're stocking up on stuff because with us having this gear, well, I don't know if we need to like mine and get more resources anymore from underground. So it's all going to be about finding treasure. <laughs> Okay, so we made our little torch. We've got quite a few torches. I do think I want to get some uh, a few more bandages because bandages would be nice to have. So we're probably gonna need to make some more of this. We're gonna use some of this cordage here to make some more uh, more of these. Yeah, we can make bandages out of fabric. I'm gonna just go ahead and make as many of these as my supply allows. Cause all like all this uh, stuff on the ground underneath me is what's making this uh, core. Well, like all this spider silk. That we just have these spiders. These spiders are my um, captive, our captive audience, and they just every so often they just make spider silk underneath them. So I've just been having them sitting there for a long time. <clears throat> I could definitely, I could definitely see that being a thing. Makes sense to me. Yeah, we're just gonna turn all these into bandages. Uh, I don't know how much these bandages heal, but I these ones heal. But I think these ones heal like 14 HP and they stop bleeding and stuff. They're very good, very very good. So that's why we would just want to make a bunch of them. Yeah, as long as some, as long as something has like enough like energy stored within it like like animal fat for instance uh, yeah I can imagine it just last a while anyway so, other thing we're doing is we got we made some more glue so that we can um, let's see we just we just made this uh, iron lock pick we're gonna reinforce it get a little bit more durability on it I mean, it's already got like 514 durability. That's probably way more than enough than I'll ever like need. <laughs> do we not? Do we have any more coal powder? Um. Let's see. This is a. Uh, does that specifically be charcoal? Okay, it has to be whole, whole, entirely whole charcoal. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Means, means we means we need to make nine char, ten charcoal. I oh, Woo. oh yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> we we also made like like probably the one of the best weapons in the game here. It's a bronze double axe, ten slash damage. Pretty damn strong. A lot of things that were like not be able to take damage from me previously when I was using slash because they had resistances can't really do do that anymore because this weapon is just strong. Like with our tactic skill, we have eight more damage, and then with this thing, we do eighteen damage. So yeah, that uh that ghost pirate probably it resisted eight of the damage, but not the other ten. So it didn't survive very long. Just makes it easier for us to try and just do what we need to do. So let's get 10 of these poles. And we're gonna set them up. I'm 
give me a hotkey specifically for this because I've had to make quite a bit of uh, charcoal. And we'll, we'll just set the fires with our fire starting stuff because whatever. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have, but... Yeah, actually, we're gonna be a little less stupid than... Because if you do it this way, you only use one set of fire starting things, which is like all this stuff here, like... Did I miscount something, like, horribly? Probably. I probably did. Because I was like, wait, there's an awful little amount of this fire starting stuff. Because you, you have to have tinder and kindling to start fires. That's okay. Um... Yeah, what I, what I was gonna say before I went on that weird mini tangent there is, um, yeah, if you do if you do things the way what I'm about to do now, you use only one set of fire starting things, and it just saves just a lot of resources, and you still get the same amount of charcoal anyway. Basically, you take one of the poles you're gonna use to start the fires with, you put it in your hand, you ignite it, and then you start fires using that instead. If I press the right uh, button, which I think is zero, yeah. Okay, and then you can uh, just build with the last one, and there you go. And those will become charcoal, and then we can use those to make, to make those. And then I feel like with that, we're probably ready to go just explore something. So we're just gonna have to kind of kill some time. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> just a pile of just animal pieces. Oh, jeez. I guess we can just kind of walk around. Ooh, what do we have here? Tin. Cool. Bonk. Oh, there's a, there's a rat. Bonk. <laughs> All these things just coming out of nowhere. Oh, there's a demon. It's a demon. Is that a fucking bear? I don't know if I've ever seen a bear in this game. <laughs> We're just fighting all the critters. Can you even hurt me? No. Oh, well, <laughs> shit. I'm just the for the forest is like angry, and I'm just like whatever. There's a snake. I know I'm gonna don't even bother the snakes because they don't really they're not aggressive really. Yeah, I just, just clobbering all the critters. We're very powerful now. Bear has dealt no damage to you. Oh, I, I was just killing all those with my shield. I was shield bashing those motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's even more embarrassing, because they didn't even get hit with my actual weapon. I was just smacking them in the face. Just whack. Oh, well, cool. Oh, the fuck? Oh, <laughs> there's a sp- <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Just ran right into a damn spider. Well, that thing took all the damage. All 18 of it. I basically one-shot it. Granted, I've been kind of one-shotting stuff anyway, but... I figured we'd just walk around and fight things, I guess. Uh, let's do some do some quick mats here while we put some stuff away. Oh wait, I have charcoal in here. Well, that's fine. I'll still wait for the other stuff, but I made this charcoal previously because it counts as a medicinal item. Other than using it to make the uh, bandages, you can use it to make like poison cure drinks. It's very easy to get, so it's probably the most reliable. Other than these little flowers that you can just pick for free, they're like the most reliable uh, medical item. I mean, the roots are pretty good too, because you can just get them by digging up grass, which is an easy way to kind of keep your 
malign in check early game. So, there's plenty of ways to get stuff to keep you from getting poisoned and dying. You just have to know what those are. Anyway, I was gonna put some seeds away. Like, I don't need... Like, I'll keep these two uh, purple quality ones on me. In case I go somewhere that I want to set up like a little camp at. I want to grow these trees. And same with this grass. But I was doing this just so I could um, more easily see what I have this comparatively this way. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five, ten, fourteen. So it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to dismantle some more of these dowels so that we can have more. Fire starting stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can do another one of those. I think where I went wrong is I have like an extra twig <laughs> or something here. I think that's where my numbers are being thrown off at. Let's see, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four. Six seventy nine. Okay, yeah, it's it's because I have this extra twig. So if there's like an extra leaf somewhere, or like a piece of grass or something, I should probably grab that. That is kindling. So we just need like another little piece of tinder somewhere. I could probably uh, do one of. Yeah, we can do that and. I have an, a piece of animal fur to kind of balance it out. Cool. All right, and then we can just drop this on, drop it on the ground like everything else. <laughs> now, to my credit, I do have at least some chests, but there's just like too much shit. Oh, <laughs> that thing zoomed around the fucking corner real quick. <laughs> Didn't really do it any good, but it, it sure it sure got there really fast. <laughs> Oh, hey, here we go. Well, there's our charcoal. Alright, there's a bunch more bandages, so we can, uh... We're gonna close all this stuff. Uh, I'll keep one of each of these out, like one of these uh, suture kits, and one of these bandages. Hmm, maybe not name. Hmm. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, we'll just grab one of these. Just so that, like, I, I'll have this open anyway, but... Yeah, it's... <clears throat> I don't need fire starting over, but I'm just doing that to get to grub. Because we're going to have one of our food available as well for when we need to, you know, eat food. Uh, I'm guessing the, re the, the remainder of this playthrough, after once we, have, we finish kind of getting some stuff together, is going to be just us finding caves and exploring caves, trying to find all the treasure. Because that's about a... Ooh, what the hell are you? A fire elemental. Well, <laughs> that was underwhelming. Ooh, wrought iron, that's pretty cool. What about the pile of embers? Do I, can I? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. It's just made of charcoal. Good talk. <laughs> yeah, like, 
our, our level of power compared to what we were just even last stream, which was like two weeks ago, is much, much, much higher because we were wearing like this like scale mail stuff, which is perfectly good armor. It's just nowhere near. It's like half as strong as this bronze stuff. It's just such a difference. Like, kind of want to see if we can find a crack in the test off because those are the things that were just beating the shit out of me last uh, stream. Because I was exploring on the swamp island and just like. Freaking just getting getting my cheeks clapped by a freaking kraken. Call that the clapping. <laughs> Alright, well this, this map looks like it's completed. So I don't know if it's actually worth our time to do anything with. Like I don't know if it's actually like useful or not. I've 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 I have i i do not have not dealt with the like the mapping stuff in this game in a while, so anything that says completed, I'm just gonna drop it on the floor over here because Okay, we got tattered map, tattered map, and a tattered map of regeneration. Cool. Uh, let's read this map. Hmm. Away to the northeast. See, I don't know if this is like on this island or if this is just like somewhere else. Um, hmm. Hard to say. Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> Whoopsie, let's look at a different one. One paces south from a gnarled trunk. A bounty, a treasure, viables hid. Upon a square of grass, away from the island's heart, away to the southwest. Five paces south from cliffs. Well, cool, I guess. Um, character's a little hungry, so we're gonna start by trying to eat some of these cucumbers that are a little less uh, fresh. And that's the power of cucumbers, like, they just fill your stuff up very easily. Thirst, hunger, and stamina. You just eat a bunch of cucumbers and you'll be fine. Which is kind of what we're playing it with over here. It's like a game plan is just having, like, a ton of cucumbers. Because they're pretty lightweight, I think at most like 0.4 pounds. Honestly, this uh, this one here is gonna get destroyed, and we'll we'll replant this purple one. Hmm. I want to keep some of these purple ones for actually eating, but that that one that one that we just dealt with was a uh, a green quality one, which is not very good. That one's also just like white, so it's like the worst of the worst. We gotta get some more leaves though, which kind of throws off the whole fire starting. Uh, Numbers again. <laughs> well, this is probably way more than enough food anyway, so. Yeah, 
Guess we keep the fire starting one open just because I'm having to constantly adjust its fucking parameters. Okay, and with that we just we can just find a pole and like dismantle it to um get the dowels we need. And we can do that and then just that gets our numbers back to where they need to be for symmetry. Not because I care about <sighs> Fine, whatever. <laughs> The rat was like coming towards me, but then it's like, ooh, seeds! And it ate the seeds and tamed itself. Like a fucking loser. <laughs> you can tame almost anything in this game if your taming skill is high enough. Which I think is pretty funny. I think I want to make a, um, a copper chest for just food. I can, you can usually find copper chests like underground for free, but I just kind of want to make one for, for food storage. What is this? What's this shit? Hammers and torches. Oh, there's even more, even more torches. <laughs> Jeez. Like, oh, like uh, we're gonna move all these cucumbers and we're gonna sort them by quality. Also, because I just didn't want to bring more, um, I didn't want to bring the white quality cucumbers. They just don't really do anything for me. And we'll just, we've got so many. That's probably more than enough torches to last the rest of our life. And at that point, we're just not going to bring this bark torch because it's just not as good. I say as I like don't have enough room for <laughs> the new torch. Um, I was going to leave that at home too because we probably don't really need that much anymore either there we go probably don't need this fishing rod either because I do not intend for that to be necessary frankly probably don't need the shovel either but I feel like that's probably a good thing to bring same with the hoe kind of the, the, the typical loadout here just to ha be able to do stuff if necessary like set up like a camp or something like that And we'll give a, get a nice night's rest on our little bedroll here. Your sleep has been interrupted by a loud crashing noise. Oh. Did somebody break in my door? Oh. Oh, it's a zombie. Well, it was a zombie. Um... Can I go back to sleep? You slept for... Oh. Things just spawning in my house now? Fine, I guess, we're, I guess we're sleeping without fire because I've like started like two separate fires just to get like woken up 
like, a few minutes later by some fucking creature destroying my, like, door or something. I don't know. There we go. Good as new. Oh. Friends. <laughs> Funnily enough, as, as we're fighting all these creatures that are aggressive towards us, we are, um... Slowly but surely having our malign go down. Because defending yourself against the hostile creatures tends to um, lower your malign. Is this the tamed? No, it's just, a, it's just a separate giant rat. What is... Huh, I didn't think these could spawn on this island. Holy, there's a lot of creatures. What? Oh, you're tamed. What? What? How did you tame? Did you get tamed too? Got, uh, fine, I guess we're... What is with... Oh, oh there's a crack. <laughs> oh, jeez. Go, protect me, my aminals. Protect. Oh, there's another what is going on that's I think the game is tired of me now <laughs> like a monster mesh oh well oh uh, the Krakens can't hurt me anymore I am at the top of the food chain I didn't say run <laughs> well that was, um, that was an, a, a time. <laughs> Although that was the uh, whole point of me, um, making all this armors, because these things were just doing way too much damage. Ooh, gold coins. Oh, there's one of the treasures. I guess that answers my question on, uh, part where you can find treasure. Uh, a paper sheet, whatever. I will leave that on the ground here, and all these animals can just turn to mulch for all I care. That bottle's nice, though. This is the bottle I don't want to make. Um, could have swore one of these uh, containers I had just for uh, the the gold things. Okay, so I don't know if we have coins somewhere, but. That, that is gonna be two of the uh, treasures. I think there's five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is five, so. I guess the answer of my question was just fight Krakens, apparently, because. <laughs> there's so, much, so many bodies. I don't wanna deal with any of it. <laughs> I specifically, like, didn't wanna deal with any of it in the first place. Hmm. What even happened over here? <laughs> Do I even want to know? Just like corpses everywhere. This is a bl it's a bloodbath. <laughs> I guess I'll look through the stuff in the in my uh, house to see what exactly. Cause maybe I did find some. Uh... Oh, I found a uh, gold sextant previously. Well, I've got a second one of those, so. Neat. Hmm. Well, cool. Let's just eat some pineapples, like, directly off the plant. You know, as you do, sometimes you just, you're, you're hungry, so you just go outside and grab a pineapple off of the pineapple bush. Stones, we can probably go here. Well, we've officially got like a million bottles.
We use this last bottle here to refill these ones. And then we're going to swap the containers around. There we go. And now we've got like five bottles of water and one uh, cure. Which is plenty. That's a lot of water. And plus all the like pineapples and shit that we're going to... Well, not pineapples, but like all like the other food. Oh, here comes another friend. Whap! <laughs> Just boop him right on the snoot. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Like, all the stuff that's got some decay on it already, we're gonna just leave it here, because... We're gonna, we're gonna be exploring a little bit, and I don't wanna have to worry about... Like, oh, I need food, and then it just, like, rots on me immediately. That's not what I really want, so... So we're gonna grab all of these, uh... We're gonna have to manually move all these since the game is being a little bit of a butthole right now. And it's like, oh, you, you surely you want to move stuff to a backpack. No, not really. I, w I, I prefer if there was like some way to like designate like bags specific, like other than just naming them. Say so like, oh, uh, this bag can only this bag can accept this kind of items or whatever. So you can have it to where like if you have food you're trying to store away it will only go to like where you know you want it to go but you know whatever it's fine we got cucumbers we got some pemmican as well we got millions of torches it feels like we got maps which i kind of want to go see if i can find where these maps are oh where the the treasure is rather oh there's a there's it's geodude <laughs> You can just kind of hang out over there, I guess. I don't really care. Now that I know that I'm basically, like, unkillable by most of the monsters on the surface. Like, the last monster I was really scared of was the Kraken that I just beat to a pulp without taking any damage from. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident in our abilities now <laughs> in part because of our ridiculously strong armor and otherwise just because uh yeah well this is about as southwest as i think i can get let's which one is this i just don't really know how to interpret this map Oh. Well, that's useful, but I don't know how useful, really. Also don't know how accurate this map even is. <laughs> I mean, probably not terribly accurate. One paces south from a gnarled trunk, bounty, a treasure, valuables hid upon a square of grass, away from the heart, island's heart, away to the southwest, five paces south from cliffs. Well, there aren't really cliffs too close around. There's this, but that's not really a cliff. Alright, thanks. <laughs> this is about as close to cliffs as we can really get. Uh, what, which one was it? This one? And if this, like, map is to be believed, then... 
I vaguely recall there being a, a formation like that around here somewhere. Maybe it's talking about like up here. Because that's about that's the only real place that looks similar to that I can really think of. Kind of um, navigate around this cabin that I partially tore apart for my own use. Yeah, this is about as close as I can really think of in regards to like, oh, there's some talc, that's kind of cool. Like this area is about as close as I can really think of when it comes to this map's uh, stuff. I'd have to see if there's like some kind of thing like that. Kind of? I mean, we can go try digging around, seeing if we uh, find something. default is just dig. Yeah, it's dig. Uh, five. Well, it's probably not there. I don't, I, again, I don't even know if I'm in the right, like, island for this. I was just like, oh, this looks kind of, sort of, like, where it might be, but maybe not at all. Maybe I should look at a different map instead. <laughs> Under the waves of on the seafloor, a bounty, a treasure, valuables hid. Away from the island's heart, away to the northeast. Those inclined for thievery forewarn, this treasure be mine, lest ye be fallen by curse. Cool. <laughs> I'm just kind of guess guessing at this shit, because it's been so long since I dealt with the treasure stuff, and it wasn't in this format last time I did it, so it's like, hmm... How exactly does this work? <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of go to the northeast of the island to the best of my ability and we'll see what we can figure out. Kind of zoomed out far, far away so that I can uh, just see. A little better. Hmm. I mean, this isn't in the northeast or southwest, rather. So probably not this mountain range for the other uh, thing. Ooh, there's a cave though. Let's. Ooh, I didn't even know there was caves over here. Well, let's take a look. Probably nothing too inspiring over here, but you know, we'll, we'll, at this point, we're gonna get our lock pick and put it over, we'll put it on here, and then we can press zero to try to pick locks. Okay, cool, well that happened. Uh, granite shovel, cool, don't care. Not really that good. <laughs> There's a rat down here. There's a bat down here. Sounds like a children's book. There's a rat, there's a bat. <laughs> oh. We like to have fun here. Oh, that's a rock. I don't need the rock. Like, I'm not even picking up these bat corpses, but they they would be the good ones to pick up because they have, like, cookable, ed, like, safe meat. So, I mean, if I didn't have, like, all of these, like, 10 million, uh, 
cucumbers. I'd probably be more worried about picking that up, but just kind of exploring down here now that I found another place to kind of go. I didn't know there was that many more, uh, I didn't know there was any other, um, cave systems under, I mean, I kind of probably should have known, because there's, like, entire, the entirety of under the, uh, uh, under the, um, island are caves, so I could have, should have suspected there'd be, you know, more caves somewhere on this island, I just hadn't really gone out to find them. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I'm just kind of exploring, we're just having a, we're just having a good time, just utterly destroying anything that gets close, like, they, they just can't hurt me, they just can't hurt me. I'm sure there's still some things that can, like some things that don't just use like brute force, but most things use brute force. Uh, let's turn off. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's not a setting in here anymore. It's like whenever you, um, it's one of these settings out there. So, uh, fine, I'll just have to pay attention. Uh... <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll pay attention. Yeah, we're just up. Oh. Woo, you're spooky. Fuck you. Come back. Get back here. Go to ghost jail. Ooh, what are you? Must be a cranberries fan. Oh, you actually hurt me. Fuck you. Uh <laughs> why do you have animal fur, weirdo? Uh, what do we have? A tallow candle, some shitty pants, and a leather tunic. Probably good loot for your for early game if you're brazen enough to come underground, but otherwise, yeah, not super great. <laughs> yeah, we're just beat. We're just beating the crap out of anything that comes our way. Cause yeah, um, if you're if you're benign is high enough, you don't won't see like nearly half of this stuff underground. It should be, it would probably be pretty t pretty chill, honestly. But I mean, our benign's our malign's slowly reaching zero. There's a lot of resources down here if I really needed them, but I don't think I do anymore. Cause food wise. We probably have enough cucumbers to just kind of eat them until those are all ready to harvest again, and then we'll just be able to do do it again. So we're like self-sufficient on food, self-sufficient on water, partially because of the food, and just leave me alone, <laughs> little skeleton. Ooh, what do we have here? A tattered map, an indecipherable tattered map. Oh, well, maybe these ones are from other islands. We just don't know which island it is. Well, I guess that makes me feel better that these might actually be on this island then if they're, if it's like that. There's another zombie and what do we have here? A message in a bottle. Worth it just, worth it just for the bottle alone. An educational scroll, okay. I don't know what that's good for. I guess I'll take that. That's not that bad of loot, honestly. Alright, so all right, zombie. Boop. <laughs> Just bonk him right bonk him right on the nose. And he goes down without a fight. Oh, god damn. I hate running into these god damn stones. Uh let's open the bottle. That got us something oh there's that oh a different old educational scroll uh, I guess let's uh, read this your skill in lumberjacking has increased all right <laughs> neat um, bye uh, what about this one that skill in anatomy has increased all right um, cool bye <laughs> Not really why I came down here, but that's kind of neat, I guess. Uh, I mean, I kind of guess came down here to kill some time. I think this is a different exit. 
Yeah, it is. stuff spawning like around me lots of tin if if you're doing baby's first metal working with tin that'd be a great place to get it but tin is so bad on its own that it's just not worth your time why is there just random blood here that's ominous <laughs> Just, just random fucking blood just on the ground underground where no one's been for a long time it's like surprise blood oh that's one of the one of the skeletons we probably killed earlier oh, oh that, we've definitely been here before because that's a bat corpse I have a feeling that means we might have already discovered most of this area. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe not. Eh, not quite. We're just kinda wandering around. Ooh, aren't you aren't you imposing? What do you have? Ten choss chosses. I'm guessing those are like legs or something. <laughs> I'm forgetting your tin ingots. It's almost better just to, like kill stuff and dismantle the uh, dismantle the equipment for the ingots than it is to actually make tin ingots. Because take I think it still takes like stuff like limestone powder and stuff, which is not worth it <laughs> in the slightest. You're out in your little spider snoot. Don't necessarily think spiders have snoots, but you know what? It's fine. They do now. They have been promoted to snoot. <laughs> to snoot haver. There's probably not much more under here that's that interesting which is unfortunate but it was kind of cool we just we kind of like found this cave just by happenstance and If one of those skeletons to not keep getting up and chasing after me, I could just uh, dismantle their bodies and they wouldn't be able to, but I don't really mind. I don't know if the zombies are just the same way, but they're, they're not a problem either. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're about, like, ex done, explored all the ca this cave has to offer. Maybe. Oh, I found another little bit here. Just as I was saying, oh, I think we're done. Finds more cave. Nah, uh, not much more. Oh. Yeah, this is some... If you were uh, early game trying to come down here to do stuff, this would be some scary shit you would leave immediately for, because... How dare you? Do one damage to me, you fucker. What do you have? Ten double axe? How good is that? Honestly, that's not even that bad for being, like, something made of tin. Like, tin is terrible, but as far as terrible things go, that's probably one of the least terrible things made of tin I've seen. <laughs> uh, what is this? A journal. Sure, whatever. Let's read it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, all right. Upon opening the journal, it strangely crumbles t to dust in small pieces. All right, well, fine. Keep your secrets. Uh... Corpse pile. Bye. Uh, granite axe. Great. What do you have? Fabric. Woven fabric. Yeah, sure, whatever. How far does this cave go? Honestly, pretty impressive cave. If I, uh, Skeleton returns to life. Pewish. I imagine there's like 10 different. I was just about to say, I bet there's like 10 different skeletons waiting to come back to life down here now because they've just been clobbering them and not picking their bones up. Because they don't, they're not really a threat. They're just kind of a distraction. Yeah, I feel like we've about like exhausted this cave's um, interest. Oh, I'm, d I'm dying of dehydration. Whoops. Well. Guess we're gonna eat. Let's see what one of the just one of these uh, exceptional quality cucumbers does. Six health, fourteen stamina, three hunger, and eight thirst. Jeez, got pretty low rolls on the uh, on the hunger. I got a, an absolutely bottom the barrel roll on the hunger. Let's see what. Let's see if another one's a little better. Six hunger, nine thirst. Jeez, yeah, these, these are are really good just cucumbers for life of course subsisting on just cucumbers means you need a lot of cucumbers which admittedly we don't have terrible terribly high amount of that but that's fine oh hey it's daytime now <laughs> it wasn't daytime before when we uh Ooh, what do we have here? Is this a different cave? No, it's just same different part of the same cave, it looks like. Hi, Bubba. He likes his booty spanked. He may sound like he's in distress, but he's like rubbing his like face all over my hand right now. <laughs> he's a little freak. laying down pulling himself along the carpet like a little tapeworm or something <laughs> oh I love that little bastard okay let's take I guess I'll put these in here too so it's actually kind of worth our time um that says southwest
loud smooch. At some point in the future, maybe I can get some sort of cat cam. <laughs> or maybe not, he's a little bit of a hellion. Um, and now he's yelling to himself in the living room because I got him all excited. <sighs> See, this kind of area looks like it might match one of the, uh, let me uh, extinguish that. Repair with our hammer, and then we'll clip our axe back to our main hand. And this area seems like it is could match one of the spots that I was looking at. Maybe. Like, let's look at this map again. Turn off the hint and just kind of look at the map here. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe not this map. This is the one south. I think this is the northeast one. That one's northeast. What about this one? I haven't looked at this one in a bit. Uh, also northeast. I'm kind of just like on a beach, it looks like. Um, don't really know how to make heads or tails of that, really. But I'll try to find like the most northeast kind of uh, place and we'll go from there. Which it might be this area. I mean, I've definitely been like up here before. You can see, <laughs> so you can see the destruction I've put in, had in my wake. Maybe there's somewhere more northeast than this. <laughs> there's also another underground area. I've also already been up here before as well. Hmm. Oh. oh, that's cool. Did I just not finish exploring this part of the island? Probably not. I was probably up here looking for something specific and like ran out of supplies and had to like leave or something. Hmm. Let's look at one of, I know one of these northeast maps was just like water. I think it was this blue one actually. Trying to see if I could find, like match up a uh, hmm. 
maybe there's another pit, bit of northeast that matches up. finished fully exploring my my island here I just was already going gallivanter and off to other places okay so that's probably the most northeastern island here hmm a nice coast here maybe this has something to do with the other map it should be this one um This is here. Yeah, it doesn't quite match up. Ooh. That looks vaguely similar to this. Vaguely. Okay, no, it's not quite the same. Never mind. I was thinking, oh wow, that part looks kind of like that, but it's not an exact match, so it's probably not that. <clears throat> Man, this like treasure hunting stuff's hard work. Gremlin man, little gremlin boy. <clears throat> I keep just running into shit. Stop. I don't even want it. <laughs> Frankly, this one, this one's a little more uh, open to interpretation because I don't think there's like trees or anything on this one. That one could be like this, too. You mind, wolf? I'm busy. <laughs> <clears throat> Increases the range in which you can dig or cast together to treasure from. Increases the clarity of tattered and drawn maps, allowing you to make out finer details even when the maps are damaged or inaccurate. Increases the success rate of copying and... <clears throat> ah. How, how do I actually level this fucking skill up? Do I do it by having a map open and just walking around? Apparently, apparently so. Apparently that the answer to that is yes. <laughs> I had no idea. If so I should have been doing this a long time ago. Just getting cartography skill for doing nothing but just walking around. Yeah, currently this uh, map's a little hard to use. Granted, it's a little fucked up. 
Well, this pineapple growing here is pretty unlikely. Pro I don't think that's probably not one I planted myself. I don't know if I've been to this part of the island before. <laughs> We're starting to get away from what I would probably consider to be the northeast part of the island. It seems kind of promising. Alright, that's that's as Because we can really get this. Again, I might not I might have this map flipped the wrong way and this might not even be for this island, but we're getting some good cartography skills, so that's kinda good too. I've got a feeling we're gonna have to deal with these treasure maps if we're if we want to have any hope of getting the other things. Cause I can imagine the krakens don't drop all the gold items. It seems like it'd be a little too easy just to farm krakens until you get all the stuff and then just win the game. But I could be wrong. So I'm like finding parts of the island I've just not explored yet. I think these, it feels like these coastal islands are the biggest ones, but they're not just, they're just not very interesting once you're not super early game anymore. Cause like super early game, you're like scraping by trying to just like keep yourself from starving to death. Most, for the most part. Oh, dehydrated. We'll drink our our purple uh, bottle of water, and then let's eat some more of these cumbers. Good enough. Oh, I see. Can we repair the map? Hmm. I see the durability of this map is actually going down. It's probably getting more illegible as well as we're like walking around with it. rock piles and for now let's close the map deal with this Might not even be like the worst idea to like let this uh like use this map as our uh
It's kind of just our skill grinding map. Let's see, what about you? Uh, Southwest. See, I'm understanding of these uh, maps that are um indecipherable or from other islands because it's not letting me open them it has a little oh what the fuck was that a zombie ooh you gave me an orb of influence um uh meow <laughs> oh slime maybe I can use that to reinforce my map that I was using to walk around with without knowing that it was dur <laughs> the durability of it that's fine. You know, let's screw. Let's swim across the freaking this body of water. Whoa, whoa, be upon any creature that gets in my way. It's like, oh, I'm just swimming across the the English Channel. <laughs> Funny enough, it's probably still faster than walking all the way around. Woe be upon ye. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna return home. Should be. Shouldn't be too far away, I wouldn't imagine. Oh, yep, yeah, it's up there. Because I, I recognize that um, this POI here. Where early game there was some plants growing there. Well, with all of our rough housing of um, the wildlife, our our uh, our, our benign and malign balances a lot is. Fuck you! Like I don't even need these to pickaxe anymore. I'll just clobber that bastard. Rude. Admittedly, a lot of our malign came from us making this bronze armor set, <laughs> so. here should be nice and full. Eat till we're nearly full and then we'll drink some waters to fill our stats up. four waters I'm gonna keep one of these bottles here keep one of these bottles strictly for um, filling up our thingies here because otherwise it'll just it's kind of awkward to do stuff if you don't uh, have one container just for getting the seawater. I really should have 
made my base in a place with more open area so I could have a much bigger farm. Because right now it's a little stunted and limited by its uh, space. Farm more bean friends. If I could, I would. Hello, Birdie. How are you doing today? We we're playing some more Wayward. It's just a hot chalky. Nice. I've still got some coffee left from when I made it earlier today. Bean on bean violence. Take some glue. It's fine. There's plenty of other things bad for me that I do, like, I don't know, work. Let's reinforce this. Reinforce. Reinforce this map here. How's the map look now? It's still a little, still pretty fucked up, but at least its durability is higher. Um, let's see, what options do we have here? An ink stick and paper sheet will let us copy this map. I feel that's a, like you can like make a copy of it to have it not completely break. The, our, the only thing left in this game for me to do is to find the five treasures and return to civilization. We've, we've kind of like done everything else in the game up until now and return to monkey <laughs> but yeah but we, yeah we basically done everything else up till now like we're we're very powerful we've got like top tier bronze armor which not even krakens can really scare us anymore and last stream before I made this bronze stuff they were painful they hurt but now they don't because we're just very strong oh who let you in? Uh, that is just a normal vampire bat. Well, it's dead now. Did somebody break my door? Or are they just spawning in here? They're probably just spawning in here, honestly. Well, well let's, uh... Let's adapt and overcome. We'll, um, pick up this door. And we'll put it here. There we go. That should keep things from getting in. We'll sleep until it's morning time. A loud crashing noise. What are you doing? What are you breaking? Bad zombie. You better fucking run. Oh, what do you? What did? What? What did? You, t you ate spider meat off the ground and now I tamed, I tamed a zombie. Great. There's like all these animal corpses because like my, my difficulty is pretty high because making armor, <laughs> friend. <laughs> uh, difficulty is pretty high up there because making this, all this bronze armor like got me like a really sharp uh, reputation loss. Oh uh, well. Right now it's named a zombie. I didn't really plan on taming this uh, zombie. <laughs> it kind of just did it on its own, but um, are these ready to pick some more? Hmm. Um, I mean, I guess we could name the zombie, but um. So now you have it, so you have to take care of it. Damn it. Uh, can we, um, can we pet the zombie? It appears to enjoy your Chris. <laughs> take your zombie for walks. We could always put it on this hitching post. Like, I have, like, these goats and spiders or whatever. We could, like, it's like, it's like, uh, the Land of the Dead movie with the Bob. Just, like, they have him, like, chained to the wall and they're, like, trying to make him, like, human again or whatever. 
I don't want the zombie following me around, but we will um, give it some meat to uh, keep it happy? Question mark. I don't know if like it would eat pemmican. It's cooked meat, so maybe that would work. I don't know what exactly zombies eat. We could try to offer it. Um, apparently it did not like the meat. Uh, the pemmican. I guess it just likes raw, nasty meat. Which is pretty on brand for a zombie. Um, I, I guess it's gonna just be there for now. Gives it to us raw and wriggling. <laughs> well, I guess we have a zombie now. Cool. Uh, it's named Bob. <laughs> it, ba back to actually surviving. Um, <laughs> I have these maps here. Let's take a look at these. No, oh, those are completed. Can I even read them anymore? Huh, weird. So, these maps aren't really worth our time anymore. Can we dismantle them? Surviving is overrated. Tame more pets. So. Well, you see, I already have a bit of a. Well, they're not like tamed right now, but I have a little uh, menagerie already right here. We've got a snake here that's been like, like sharding out scales for like weeks. We've got these goats that are just kind of hanging out now. We've got spiders that make spider silk when they just exist. So we quote unquote have pets, but they're just not tamed right now. And they will just try to attack me because they're technically wild, but not really. But since they're on this hitching post, I don't think they're allowed to despawn. So yeah, they just kind of exist. So now we've got this. This was originally where I where I had a chicken, but some creatures came around and killed it, which was kind of sad. But eh. As you as you can see, there, we had a big battle up here earlier in earlier in the stream. Like just a whole bunch of monsters were up here, and we clobber them. I didn't kill the chicken. It was like a kraken or something, because this game has krakens. They're really cool. And they're kind of scary. Up. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of like my reaction when I saw all the creatures earlier in the stream, and then, but then I killed all of them very easily because we have powerful gear now. We have this little cloak we got from like a skeleton mage. It's kind of kind of nice. It doesn't really do much, but it's kind of it, it makes us all purple, which is objectively the best color. Objectively, um, no bias is there. <laughs> then we got all our bronze gear. We could push our um, our defense stat even higher if I got like fur, like not fur mittens and leather leather boots. Excuse me. But those give uh, like insulation a bit more insulation than like this metal armor does. Yeah, we have two of the five treasures. Let me go back to our... Yeah, there's a gold sextant, a gold ring, a gold key, a gold chalice, and gold coins. And also, actually there's six, there's a gold sword too. I can't count. <laughs> and we only have two of them, and... So I was trying to like do the whole map deciphering bullshit to kind of try to see if that's how we can find more. But I haven't done this the, the treasure finding stuff in this game in a long time. Let's show stylized maps, map info on these treasures. You can find multiple tether maps for the same treasure. The better your cartography skill is, the better quality the map display is. Reading a map does not train cartography like it used to in earlier versions. In addition to the map info, you get a riddle of which the most important line is. Away from the hard island's heart. Away to the quadrant. This, 
This line tells you in which of the nine quadrants the treasure lies buried. The map of the can be turned clockwise, counterclockwise, and flipped to look at the map mirrored. The alignment of the trees does not matter. Hmm. So it looks like the, uh... Wow, these maps are confusing. <laughs> so it looks like the only thing that really matters is the land masses that are displayed. Good to know. I haven't done the treasure stuff in this game in quite some time. So yeah, I, was, I think that's probably our best bet for just getting these, these uh, treasures and then returning to Monkey. Uh, we'll just throw these seeds on the ground. This indecipherable map is for another place. So, uh, I was trying to find, look at this map, because it says uh, to the northeast, which there's north, northeast, northwest, etc. So. We're gonna get more supplies from like our cucumber plants and water, etc. All that stuff. Actually, I think we already have that stuff kind of on hand. Other than the cucumbers, we'll pick those because we can pick enough to kind of last us for a few days of just wandering around exploring. Let's see, these are ripening, so we can pick them. Same with you. The zombie is. Bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Pick them like a nose. Boop. Got your nose. Got your cucumber. Okay, this cucumber. Yeah, get out of the way. I have a feeling this zombie is not happy that it's stuck to the hitching post. Is in fact not very happy about that. It's also, it's all, it's, it, it is tamed and appears agitated. <laughs> uh, do we have any animal pieces that this thing would fuck? We have rotten meat. I don't know if it would like likes that. We can try to feed a rotten meat, but I don't think that's gonna work. Just to call it a hunch. So yeah, this zombie might be very hard for us to keep tamed. Would you like some rotten meat? No. It's gotta be fresh, huh? Picky asshole. Uh, um, thankfully, the spider meat stays fresh for quite a while. Especially if we keep it in like a bag like this. I'm gonna drop all the rest of this stuff because I just don't care. But for the sake of entertainment, we will keep the, we'll try to keep the zombie happy. It's just bleeding everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's actually just finished being, just untaming, so. Um, well, we tamed it again. Yeah, the zombie did not seem like it was very happy being hitched to that, and it's just bleeding everywhere. Um, any other spider meat around here? Some rotten meat, spider meat. Frankly, if we're gonna keep this thing tamed, spider meat's gonna be the only way we're gonna be able to feasibly do it, because spiders are pretty common. But most meat doesn't have a very good shelf life. 
Spider Meat's probably the one with the best raw, I would imagine. Any other spider meat in the pile? So I guess we'll just have this zombie with us. <laughs> we'll just have Bob follow us around. Um, there's a bunny. We will not. Oh, hey, there's a kraken. I wonder if we could tame the kraken. Would does it like? Do they like cucumbers? Do you like a cucumber in this trying time? It apparently, it, it probably wants meat too. No, Bob! <laughs> no! 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 I didn't actually mean for that to happen, but the, yeah, Bob didn't stand a chance against the Kraken. I do want to tame this Kraken though, if I could figure out what it wants to eat. It doesn't. Not spider meat. I can imagine maybe fish. Do I still have my fishing pole on my person? I mean, I could probably kill a shark. That counts as fish, right? This Kraken is just gonna chase me around anyway, so I'll, I'll find a shark or a fish of some kind and we'll see if we can tame the Kraken. Like, we'll probably, we'll probably bully this fish. There's a raw cod. Let's see if the Kraken would would appreciate some cod. What do you say, buddy? Uh, I don't know. What, I don't know if there is something that you can tame this with. It can just try to like. You can just try uh, tame, which can fail or succeed depending on your skill. I mean, it can't really hurt us anyway, so we'll just. Try to brute force tame it, I guess. Oh, we tamed the Kraken. All right, well that works. I wish I knew what you could feed it to tame it, because that'd be a lot easier. And now we tamed the wolf too. <laughs> Can you, I've never tried to tame a shark. Can you tame a shark? Well, I mean, I failed to, but it doesn't mean we tamed a shark. <laughs> There's another Kraken. Let's tame you too. Oh, well, the wolf's dead. Oh, the Krakens are fighting. Did, did mine win? Uh, looks like my Kraken won the fight. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, cool, I guess. Um, well, I guess in that case, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal to keep Bob tamed if I'm just taming him without using food. Oh. Come on. You know, you want to just be my friend, right? It's like, no. No, no friend. It's like r running away from it's like, no, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Just like swimming in the ocean, like, come back! Rest and I'll probably get the Kraken to come like right over to us. Well, fine, make me look like a freaking liar. <laughs> it's just like, fuck you, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Well, that's. Krakens are probably the scariest normal enemy in the game. Is that the same one? It is! You didn't get far enough away. You cannot escape my love.
Can't imagine the tame success chance is very high. I probably got really lucky that tame earlier. I just want a friend while I go hunting for treasure. Is that so much to ask? Kraken's like, kinda, yeah. All right, let's put it down. Oh, a map. It's actually great. <laughs> it's actually ideal. <laughs> it gave me, an got another map out of the deal. Sweet. I kind of want to like just keep going after this map though. Um, yeah, this map's a little fucked up, but it's in the northeast, so we're, we're gonna head to the northeast before opening the map again. Were you the original cucumber, or was it a different cucumber? Because all those cucumbers I have back at home, they were. Um, not originally like i had to get them from the wild like this and then slowly but surely just grow them until i start getting higher quality ones and then plant the seeds from those and yada 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 you, you can probably guess how that goes it's the sir it's domestic it's civilization building itself from the ground up I need to put all these uh move all these cucumbers to grub so that they don't uh move all those cucumbers to grub so they decay a little slower. Let's take a chill. let's uh consume. We'll, be, we'll eat one. Yeah, these cucumbers are pretty good. They give you thirst and hunger, which are pretty important. Rat's pretty easy to tame. The tame should last a while too. Uh, your name is gonna be Gus. <laughs> like Gus Gus, like that the big field mouse from Cinderella. <laughs> uh, creature. So yeah, since... Uh, hmm. Ooh, is there another island I haven't... Part of the island I haven't been to over here? Hmm. Maybe the reason why I haven't found uh, the treasure is because I've not explored the entire damn island yet. How you doing, Gus? Still fun? Still happy? Okay. <laughs> let's 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 slow down so Gus can catch up. If we find any other easy to tame creatures like giant rats, we'll we'll tame them for just for the sake of it. It's not going to serve us any purpose, but it doesn't really need to because we're basically in the game at this point anyway. Like we can't really die to any creature at this point unless it's like really scary. Like the only thing I can think of that might be able to hurt us would be an aberrant kraken, because normal krakens can't hurt us, but aberrant creatures are. Fair bit stronger than their normal counterparts, otherwise. Hmm. This part seems familiar. And by that, I mean I recognize maybe this part of the, uh, 
Oh wait, never mind. Not it's not as familiar as I thought. I'm just a little a little hopeful. Yeah, it's not exactly that. Because it would have to be uh like this map's a little jacked up at this point because of its durability, but um yeah, it's like under the waves on the seafloor. I was thinking because of this it might match, but nah, it's not quite. Alright, we'll close that so it doesn't take up any more durability. We'll keep exploring. It's contented. it and it gets a little bit of taming skill too granted any gain of taming skill is almost always just a little bit because <laughs> it's pretty hard to level up Unfortunately, it's not tremendously exciting just running around trying to find where these treasure maps are. Especially with Gus being so damn slow. Come on, Gus. Short for asparagus. <laughs> This is like a part of the island I just hadn't even like explored yet, even, so. I might explain why I've just not found the tur- Ooh! It's a scarecrow. Oh, I was like, is that a dude or is that like a scarecrow? Scarecrow! Hmm. I think we're gonna stop at this point point and check our map again because this area seems like it could be maybe let's let's kind of look hmm maybe not quite no um It's interesting, but it's not where we uh, need to be, it looks like. Kind of like a matching game to get all this stuff to actually kind of go where it needs, where you need to be. Kind of like to like match up the landscape with where you are. Where did... Boy, asparagus, where you at? Oh, you are dismayed? Well, let's uh, release you. And we'll retame you. Oh. Yeah, there's a cooldown, I guess, for being uh, released. Okay, so we're just gonna have to, like, wait. I mean, admittedly, Gus will probably follow us anyway, but maybe not uh, maybe not quite as friendly. So we'll just wait for Gus to, to come down to it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Did you just, like, give up? Did you give up or, and or despawn? There you are. No, you're still just not willing. Oh, we'll go rest over here then, I guess. Let's 
It's either Gus or it's a shark. Drink some water. Speaking of that, I'm gonna drink some coffee. <laughs> ah. Gus, but you are tameable. <laughs> Same one. Um, this is the first name that came to mind for some reason when I thought of a spider. Is just Douglas. <laughs> All right, Douglas, let's go. I guess. <laughs> Dougal ass. The dugliest of asses. <clears throat> I'm just gonna eat eat some of this uh, pemmican because it's just kind of kind of weighs a lot. It's not super great food and it just kind of weighs a lot, but it's better than letting the, the meat just completely rot away without getting any use out of it. So kind of why I was doing that. See, as far as this map goes, one of the key things I'm trying to look for is formation like this. So, like, just a little, like, one little bit of sand kind of off to its side. And then, like, kind of that and then two. It's kind of what I'm, kind of what I'm looking for. It's a pretty distinct, uh, Landform, so hopefully I can find something like that up here now. I kind of like know more what to look for. It is a little dark, but it's not as big of a deal in this game as it is with other kind of games like Valheim or whatever. Because like it's dark, but you still very easily see what's actually going on. So I think we're in like the northeast part of the map. See, that's kind of what I'm talking about, but it's also not that. It's also not that either. It's not that either. I think I think the nighttime is slowly ending because the kind of like the color is kind of warming up. So to, so to say, no idea where the spider went. Well, there's, there's probably just a random spider named Douglas wandering out around somewhere now. Uh, that's fun. That's kind of funny. Douglas the spider. Don't need seaweed. Uh, kind of try to. I should probably get my little boat. Hmm. Actually, I've been thinking maybe it's. Let me look at this map again. It maybe maybe the part that I'm looking at is not the land at all. Maybe it's just more ocean. It says it's on the, the sea floor though, so I think this is like deep ocean, and this is the sh Hmm. It's weird though. Because I, I, I was interpreting this is like beach, and this is like shallows, and this is like the depths. But maybe that's wrong. Cause if so, this would be grass. That would be beach, which I still think that's probably what it is. Maybe I just haven't found like the right landmass. 
we might end up going back to our base and getting our boat just to, just to literally pilot it around the outer ring. No, wait, I'm a fool. Okay, so this would be deep sea water. This would be sea water. This would be sh okay. So yeah, that is still just the beach. <laughs> uh, guess I just oh fucking seaweed. Just get you get rid of you too. Go go. Mmm pineapple. I'll eat you, and I'll just replant the seed because with, with how much I'm just wandering around, just doing stuff. Might as well just replant it and maybe at some point I'll just need another more food and there'll just be more food. Yeah, let's I'm I think I'm just gonna go back and get my boat. It'll be but we'll move faster anyway. Uh it's just that you're not Douglas. You're Harold. Just like thinking of like old white man names <laughs> for these freaking spiders. <laughs> Admittedly, uh, sometime not too far off. <laughs> I'll have to, uh, I see you sent me something, Birdie. I'll have to look at that after. Look, whenever I'm doing my lunch break. Um, but I will. Yeah, yeah. Before, pretty soon it'll be time to do lunch break, and after that we'll be playing RimWorld. Might as well pick this and also eat it. And I'll just replant the seeds. Like doing this kind, of, this kind of like passive husbandry like this is like the way to get to eventually like go from ooh is that a bear? Hello, you want to be friends? You want to be my friend? You're like the only the second bear I've ever seen in this game. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a bear. Uh, what's your name gonna be? Um, I mean, I think there's only like one one name I can think of that uh, you should be. You're just Yogi. You're looking for some fucking picnic baskets. <laughs> So we got Yogi and Harold right now. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <coughs> well, I've still just got this map up and that's that's fine. I kind of like roughly know what um, the formation looks like that we're looking for. Being said, I don't think it has to strictly be in the like more northeastern part of the map. I think it just has to be in the northeast quadrant. Well, at least the bear kind of keeps up with us. Like we do not need the comp we do not need the help with fighting because we are just like. Like a one person like wrecking crew with this freaking double axe with like 10 slash attack. It's absurd, honestly, how strong it is. But yeah, this is our home. So we're gonna. Oh, Yogi's might be able to follow us, but probably not because we're gonna get in the ship and sail around instead. So we can try to find these treasure places. But hey, I could, at least I can say I tamed a bear <laughs> with no food either. I'm just like, hey, you want to be friends? And it's like, oh, sure. Uh, let's... Your name is Steven. Steven the Spider. We got, <laughs> we got Yogi, Steven, Harold's somewhere back there, and like somewhere off, somewhere else is uh, Douglas... <laughs> Of the spider. Uh, it's 
Oh, we all we have all these coconut trees that I brought back from the desert island. Again, just completely superfluous food. Like not necessary in the slightest. We got like all those uh, cucumbers, which in like another day or two they're gonna be ripened and full of cucumbers again, and we haven't even eaten all of them, so it's like. At this point, food is not a problem in the slightest. While we're home, though, we are going to... Fill our thirst from these first. And then we'll grab more water. Yeah, these, uh, these uh, solar stills are extremely overpowered. Just the earlier you can get them, the better, because it's just less time, less resources you have to spend on, uh, it's just less resources you have to spend on starting fires on the beach to boil water. And frankly, you can get, um, these extremely quickly, like, I've done it before, but I might just, like, try to, like, do a demo on just how fast you can get these things if you really want, if you really know what you're doing. I figured it might be a fun way to kind of wind down the stream a bit. Uh, let's see. Because, like, the name of the game now for us on this file, with how far we are, is to, is... It's just gonna be trying to find treasure and explore, and once we find all the treasures, we can just we win the game basically. Uh, so, so you know what? We're gonna we'll make a new file and just see how fast see if we can just really quickly uh, get to a uh, solar still. Solar still for sure, whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm even doing. Uh, I don't think we really want to change anything because, yeah, this, this game is multiplayer. <laughs> if if you really wanted to play this game in multiplayer, you absolutely can. This is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I've really played with the uh, daily stuff too much before. <clears throat> but we'll just do normal stuff and I use this character the most just because, I don't know. Alright. Well, we start out on a fresh person with very little. We've got some like potato seeds. Must be Irish. <laughs> We got the clothes on our back. We have a two water containers, actually. That's perfect, actually. And we've got a pole, some shale, two pieces of shale, which I think you can use for carving things. Ooh, we also started with an ax. That's actually perfect. That gets us something to defend ourselves with. And just for the sake of defense, we can put the bo uh, this bone in our other hand. It just gives us one more defense, which, yeah. All right, so immediately, what we're going to want to do is start just uh, like if you're not concerned at all about malign or whatever, you need a you need a kiln for making doing stuff with glass, which is like I think eight stones. We already have one stone. But it might be in our best interest to um, well, let's set this up for a uh, chop. It might be best to use this pole to mine with. And then we can make a sharpened stone. We need two sharpened stones, so let's mine again. Well, let me move. Jeez, I think we gotta do like uh, use of moving. Yeah. 
We'll go after this dead tree because we lose less. You lose less. You gain less malign from destroying dead trees because they're already you know dead and you're not hurting anything that's like alive. I guess you could say. Okay, and we're gonna dismantle these logs. <clears throat> we're probably gonna use these first because our axe only has so much durability. <clears throat> it might, it's probably going to be good to do, uh, that, that's, doesn't have much of your ability anyway, so we're not really super worried about that, dismiss that, get another pole, we'll get some stuff to start a fire with as well, we did this so we could have set up things like this yep that's fine that way we can easily start fires because fire plow is pretty decent for starting fires and you can make it like very easily <clears throat> yeah we're the whole point of us cutting down the tree was to get uh that so we can make some string and then we can make a pickaxe eventually maybe there we go <clears throat> We'll set this up on two, same deal. Use one moving, mine. <clears throat> and that just makes it a lot easier for us to, um, and this makes it way easier for us to get the rocks that we need to actually make the kiln. Like this current second, I'm disregarding malign and such. If you're planning on doing a longer playthrough, you should. <clears throat> you definitely want to balance this a little bit better, because once it gets nighttime, um, yeah, once it gets nighttime, you um will be in. You won't be happy. You won't be as happy because if your malign is lower than zero, usually you can have stuff like zombies and the vampire bats show up, and if you don't got armor, that can be a very quick death <laughs> but I'm hoping that we can well part of the, what we need is limestone and we don't have that yet so that could be problematic I might just keep we might just try to wander around and find that first something you can do to help combat the uh hurting ourselves from exhaustion that's fine we can take some damage use your life as a resource and a kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh like life points are great are important but not as important as winning the game okay we did manage to finally get one of those and yeah, we're taking a little bit too much damage though so let's maybe hold off on that some more Kind of looking for um, limestone, but <clears throat> like I'm, I'm, but I'm by no means an expert at this game, but I've played a good amount of it. Ooh, some apples that that simplifies our our food situation because that's something you just don't have to like put any effort into doing for food, which saves us time okay there's the other apple cool we'll just hey hello cloudy how are you my friend um before long i'm gonna be ending this stream and doing lunch and then starting my afternoon stream afterwards sleepy Un understandable it's saturday good day to be sleepy at least and right now we're playing this game called Wayward. It's a little roguelike survival game, and I was just kind of trying to see how fast I could get the more the most OP way to get water, which is using the power of the sun to just distill water. You don't it doesn't use fire or anything. It's just kind of nice. So I'm just seeing if I can do it quick, but we're kind of running into the problem where I'm I need limestone to make glass, and we're just not finding it. <laughs> 
Because why would why would I find what I need? <clears throat> what is this? A fossil? Well, that's cool. Well, I mean, this solves our water problem initially. We can just kind of scoop this up and boil it later when we start a fire to sleep at. There's a snack. Yeah, I'm just kind of roaming around looking for only specifically what I need. <clears throat> Which right now is more mountains, so we can see if we can find the limestone. Might not be a bad idea to try to pick some of these uh, maple seeds to lower our difficulty up here, because there's a there's a balance between benign and malign that you need, should try to maintain normally to keep things from being too difficult, especially when you're first starting the game and or like early in the early game, because. If your malign is high enough, the game doesn't care how long you've been playing. They will just send shit at you. <laughs> There's like another little garden over here with a potato plant. Cool. Just like little POIs littering the landscape. Let's see. I'm just trying to, just trying to explore around a little bit to find more mountains because limestone generates in the side of mountains it's a snack I'm trying to also keep an eye on the hunger and thorst what is this egg <laughs> little rat we don't want to bother that because it is a it's, 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 it's one of the quote-unquote innocent creatures, kind of like goats and well, kind of like rabbits. Goats, I think, are also part of that, but they also just kind of fight things anyway. But if you kill those, you tend to generate a lot of malign, and they don't even really drop anything, so it's kind of like, don't, don't do it. There's not really a good reason to, unless you're just trying to murder everything in sight, which, I mean, fair enough, I guess. Um... We're just gonna explore and yeah. The rest of the stream, I was just I was just spent making better gear on my other file that's actually much further along, and we're trying to find treasure. And I fought a bunch of creatures, and it was a pretty good time. And I was like, wait, let's see how fast I can get this. At this point, the answer is apparently not very fast because I'm just have bad luck with finding the uh, limestone. Because to do glass making. Period, you need limestone. Oh, found some seaweed. I guess I could eat that if it really came to it, but I probably don't want that. <laughs> yeah, ideally you either want uh, to live near the ocean in this game, so you can have easy access to desalinating water, or you want to otherwise dig like a canal from the ocean to wherever your base is, I guess. Actually doing something f funnily similar to that in Valheim on my other file, that, on my fi offline file, I'm digging a, like, canal that, like, s connects my base on, like, a southern shore to, like, the northern shore, so I can sail my boat just through the land, basically. <laughs> partially because I'm lazy, partially because the wind currents in a game are not always friendly to your boat. Hell yeah, cozy Saturday streams. That's partially why I, I like doing a big stream day on Saturdays. It's just, it's just super chill. I just kind of play like games like this and like Minecraft. And granted, RimWorld's a little less, slightly less cozy because it can be a little more stressful. <laughs> but I'll be playing that after lunch time. Uh, let's see. Let's keep exploring. Now we could go underground to try to find uh, limestone, but scary things live underground that I don't know if our character can really survive very well. But you know what? Maybe. Ooh, what do we have here? That's talc. Not what we need, but it is cool. If you're gonna do metalworking, you need talcum. There's another rabbit. Water here, that's cool. We can 
can use that if necessary, but probably don't, probably not gonna need, well we might. I might get unlucky enough to where like we <laughs> don't find li limestone on the surface at all and then just have to kind of deal with going underground. Alright, I right, think I already explored this little kind of valley here. Yeah, that's where the talcum was, so we'll wrap around and... Go this way now, instead. The daylight's starting to kind of fade on us. So it might be in my best interest to actually just kind of kill some, chop down some of these trees real quick. And we're going to dismantle the logs. <clears throat> that gets us a lot of planks that we don't really need necessarily. So for now I might just drop these on the floor. Splam! On the ground! Right, we, get, we found a few apples. Um... We might end up having to, we might just go underground to try to find this stuff. This isn't like a serious like file that I'm gonna be trying to like play play. I'm just trying to see how fast I can get <laughs> one thing. So I'm not like really trying to like build like a permanent base or anything. I'm just like, hmm, what can I get away with doing? <laughs> I didn't see like any stuff there that would be super useful to us. Yeah, my 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 the reason I cut those trees down is so I could get some bark to try to make some armor for like the first night. Cause we're probably gonna We're gonna be sleeping out in the open. <laughs> so, yeah, we might uh, have some problems. Yeah, whatever, go away, Shale. I think we need, like, dismantle two of these so we can make some string, and then we can make uh, the little the little bark leggies. Up to legs, and I think bark shield needs four tree bark, so. Oh, well, we got another uh, log here for free. So if we get another log somewhere, we should be able to make the shield. Oh, yeah, there's a shark. <laughs> Not yet. We'll, we'll do that. All right. That's probably about as geared up as you can really get on the first day without really either really good luck or just preparing specifically to gear up on the first day, because. Getting much better gear takes like stuff like leather and snake scales and crap like that, which we do not have on the first day. <laughs> Something we could do that I've never actually done before. I don't know why I didn't think of it until just, well, we're gonna need rocks for what I was gonna say, but. What I was gonna say is we start like we find like a nice like indented area with the in the like the rock wall. We put the campfire down in front of us, and then we light it. And I can't imagine things would want to step on the fire, so that might keep us safe for the night. Um, just gotta find a place that it would work in. Oh. Shit, there's a spider already. Okay, um, this could be bad. In part because if they poison me, I don't have anything to really cure it. <laughs> um, do we have a crush weapon? We have this this bone. Um, well, let's see what happens. Okay, we we survived again. Admittedly, spiders are not very fierce, in the slightest. So I mean, it's you know. We will take the spider meat though. Mm -hmm. 
for now, I think that thing I was going to attempt to do will do it like right here. Oh, <laughs> we just found a cape. Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't go down here. Uh, can we make the campfire? Oh, we made it. <laughs> just barely, but we, we got it. Um, and I'll build you there. And now we are like working ourselves to exhaustion. Let's drink this purified water that we had from the first bit. <laughs> Drinking the water took stamina, which made us take a damage, but then we gained stamina back. Oh, game logic. All right, so we have some fire starting things. Let's move the pickaxe up top as well. Equip our axe back to the main hand. We'll hold on to the bone for now because we don't really have any other blunt instrument to fight off the spiders with, so it's probably smart to keep that. We can dismantle these uh, branches to get fire starting things as well but yeah let's see i think it's i have nine there nine we'll just keep trying there we go ah oh, dexterity rose which i think gave us a little might have given us a little bit more uh malign because getting more powerful is seen as a threat <laughs> to the island oh we made the uh Did that just improve the quality of our bottle, or was that bottle always that good? I don't know, but yeah, that's nice. Uh, in the meantime, we can cook this uh, spider meat from the spider that we had to fight, and we can eat that. And well, that's about all I got. <laughs> Let's stoke the fire. Hopefully it'll last longer and not like, I don't know, fucking the thing I'm trying here is seeing if, like, sleeping like this will keep things away while I sleep. It kind of worked for a little bit, and then I think the fire went out. That's okay. I was getting a little hungry anyway. Oh. We, we, we bested the spider, but it wasn't, it was, we took a bit of damage from it. <laughs> uh, butcher, give me that. Thank you. Yeah, maybe don't do this when you're, like, on something like this. Because <laughs> that was, I was like, wait, why am I, like, mining rocks? And it's like, oh, it's because I got, went, I got sent back underground. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, uh, pick you up. Uh, let's see, we can drop you, and you, and you, and then, I mean, part of the reason why we waste so much is because we have this kiln, just like this 20 pound granite kiln just in our backpack. <laughs> Give me one second. I just returned myself um yeah um I am going to probably well we'll play a little bit more of this I'll see if I can figure out the whole uh whole thing I was trying to even do which was uh 
Let's just put this back down. Oh, the whole fast, um, <laughs> what you call it, the uh, solar still. It's about morning time anyway. We survived against the spiders, didn't get poisoned, that was kind of lucky because, oh, there's another spider. We're not quite out of the woods yet, I guess. Uh, these poles are actually just about as good as this bone is. Nice, we, we survived. But yeah, I'm gonna try it a little bit longer, probably until 11.30, to see if we can find the limestone to do this fast thingy with that I'm trying to do. And if I can't do it, then so be it. We'll just not do it. <laughs> and then I'll, I've got some food here that I, I had some of it earlier and I'll just reheat it up and eat more of it. And then at like noon or so, I'll be back and we'll, we'll switch to RimWorld. I'll grab this water off the ground since it's like right here anyway. And then let's wander around looking for apples and or limestone. Oh, there's another, another spider. Asshole. Yeah, pretty quickly, once you gain them some more tactics skill, the spiders quickly become not much of a threat. They can still be very much, they can still be a threat if they poison you, but eventually you get like some gear and they just don't really do anything harmful to you. Because they just can't. Because they're very weak. This rat, though, is going to bother me, isn't it? Aren't they? Uh, well, back to the axe. <laughs> oh, rip. Thank you for your service, Mr. Rat. But I'll be taking all that stuff. Please and thank you. Well, we can start a beach fire to make some glue, I guess. Because <laughs> otherwise this will go to waste. And we can use that on our axe here. Although I sh I'm cursing myself because I should have made a hammer much sooner. Because hammers let you fix other things so that other things last a lot longer. I'm sure there's a rock somewhere that I like threw on the ground back up here. We can actually grab these spider silks so we can make more string too. Um, oh, I'm starving to death. Well, we can fix that too. Picked out right now, actually. Okay. <clears throat> Soak that fire, and I'm gonna have to run and grab some seawater for this glue. Because I could definitely use, um, not seawater for this glue. I could use this purified water, but that's water we can drink. You don't want to really do that most of the time. Unless you just don't care, which, fair enough. <laughs> At some, uh, there's some point where, like, you have enough stuff, like, on my other file, you just probably don't care. But even then, I still kind of try to... Let's get these out of the way. Also gives us plant roots, which is perfect, because I was going to do something cheeky with the, uh... Oh, yep, yeah, we're starving again. That's fine. We won't die immediately. And there's a fun like if you ever play this game, there's a fun trick you can do to make use of the tainted meat that like rats drop that you otherwise wouldn't want to eat. But you can cook it and uh well first we're gonna make this glue. Or try to. Oh, the fire went out. Shit. Can I start another fire? Let's try. Alright. Okay, so we made the tainted meat, which I was afraid we weren't going to be able to do. 
But what you can do with these roots that we have is you can make medicine, medicinal water, which is, you know, all good. And the reason we're doing that is we're about to potentially poison ourselves by eating unsafe meat from that giant rat. Uh, so you eat this. Okay, we didn't get poisoned, so cool, whatever. We can just hold on to this uh, medicine water in case we get poisoned by a spider or something. Hammer. Okay, yeah, I know there are some rocks around here somewhere. Let's switch to maybe not that stick for our hammer. Okay, it's not a very good hammer, but that's fine. We can make a better hammer later. Uh, let's re reinforce our axe, firstly. If it's a lot more durability, then we'll repair it. Okay. Guess so you can repair a bone, but yeah, whatever. And that's all just part of the getting better stuff and being getting stronger is like doing stuff like getting hammers and all that. That's not what we're trying to do, but that's kind of what's happening anyway, because it's just kind of part of the gameplay loop is improving your stuff to make sure you can actually do things. And we're not starving to death now, so good enough, I guess. I'm gonna dismantle these so we can make more fires later. We might just have to to suck it up and go underground to try to find. Oh, there's a slime. Hello. You are of interest. Come here. You are of interest because you can make glue out of slimes too. Let's grab some more seawater and we'll do that. We'll just start a beach fire. It's not a very good beach fire, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be a very good beach fire. It just needs to be a good enough beach fire. <laughs> and I think for that, we're gonna also, um, hmm, let's make some more string. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what we use this glue on, but I probably want to, I would likely use it on like a hammer or something, but for now, we're gonna just use it on our axe, because that's kind of how we're defending ourselves. Ah, no, actually, changed my mind. We're gonna reinforce the fire drill that we're using to start all of our fires with. Hammer's about to break, because <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a very good hammer when we made it. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're probably just going to have to go underground. Or try to go underground, rather, because... Yeah. A wooden rail, huh? Uh, let's see. That's, oh, uh, it's stripped bark. Which is gonna come from these, uh, branches. Mentally, it's not, thinking, not that big of a deal either because we can, uh, Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of scraping by on, like, bare minimum on purpose. Uh, two, three. I need, like, two more branches. <laughs> Shit. Which means probably another tree or two that I have to cut down while being, like, hungry and just fucking exhausted. But so it goes. So it goes. Sometimes you just gotta cut down a tree while being half asleep. <laughs> That actually opened up a little path for us to kind of get around the area, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to make this bark torch because that's probably the most accessible torch to us. 
It's not a very good torch, but that's fine. Never was going to be a very good torch because we don't have the fabric to use this ta this animal fat to make the, the better torch. So we're just going to have to make do because we're probably going to have to go underground to... Um, to kind of get anything done. Something else we need though, while I'm at it, while I'm thinking about it, is we need a pestle and mortar. And thankfully we should be able to make one of those out of one of these logs. Let's see, where is it? Or is it a mortar and pe I don't know. It's it's a mortar and pestle. I mean, so we need one of those to crunch up the uh, limestone or whatever when we find it. So that also let us make some uh, tannin. And we can make some leather. And we can use that to make our little bag. Or we can use that to make a water skin, which I'm honestly probably gonna just do that. I guess it's another water container we can use. You can do that when early game. I mean, they're not like bad containers. They're a little heavy, but early game you kind of don't have too many options. So right now we don't have too many options. I could go ahead and drink this, but I want to kind of not do that yet. I know there was some water, like I think up here. A bunch of, yeah, like right there. That's exactly what I was like. Yeah, we need to go get that again. Since we don't have the water purifying stuff that I was trying to make yet, um, we could always make the stone a stone still, but that is the thing that we're trying not to make because it uses fire making stuff, which is costly to kind of constantly get early game and would defeat the purpose of this whole thing entirely but you know whatever if it, if it comes though we can do it but we'll try not to start another beach fire because it's really easy I could have put this down and started fire there all right so drink some water to kind of get our stamina back too and while that fire's going we can hopefully boil up some more water from here yeah this is like groundwater you just kind of boil and it's fine afterwards seawater you can't do it quite like that oh, well all right we'll start another fire whatever I Kwong about starting a beach fire Okay, that worked out pretty nicely. So we've got some water. We need some, well, I've got spider meat we need to cook, or at least try to cook. Let's carve that into a wooden spear, give it a little bit more utility. Oh, the beach fire ran out. <laughs> Oh, we got our metasm, metabolism slowed, so I think our malign went up. Ugh. Oh, let's just eat the spider meat. It's not very good food, but it is, in fact, food. That's budding. That's not going to do us any good. Oh, well. Well. We're either going to die a horrible death or we're going to find the limestone and do the thing. So let's uh, do that. <laughs> I 
So it's, we're gonna just go for it. I don't even really care. I just want to make sure we had enough, like, water to survive. That's ten. Just a lot of talc. That's talc as well. You'll know what you'll know limestone we see. It's like like white orbs like that. It's usually when it's bigger patches of it, it's uh, well that was easy. I should have came underground way sooner. I think that should be enough, but now we run into the problem of weighing too much. So we're gonna just like leave some stuff down here. Oh, all these poles, it's fine. All right, <laughs> let's get back up top before I get murdered by something down here, or something like spawns in the way of like the escape uh, stairs here. All right, well, note to self: if you need limestone, just fucking go underground. And just risk it. Alright, we're gonna set up our kiln here. And then we need a shovel now. So glad, th thankfully, I still have some of those uh, poles. We're gonna just drop the limestone ground right here because. Stuff on in nearby tiles can be used for crafting or other things like that. So you can just like have piles of stuff around your stations to. No, let's uh, put this. I mean, it probably doesn't matter much, but uh, we can just extinguish you now. Yeah, I needed some bark to um. Needed some bark here to make some string with so I can make a... What was I making? Shit. I, I hate my brain does this. Um, um, shovel. Yes. So I need to find some rocks too, which there should be some over here, I think. If not, I can just go get... Or maybe I need more string. See, that's a hoe. Your tool's a hoe. <laughs> uh, let's, let's grab the shovel. Because we're going to need the shovel to dig up the sand. The sand. Uh... Alright. Beach sand, go! Oh, we need to take a nap. Okay, we're not super sleepy anymore. I've got some water we can drink, so we're gonna uh, drink some of that. Not too much though, because we don't want to waste uh, stuff with it, I guess. Anyway. That might be enough. I don't remember how much we need, but you have to refine the sand. If we look down here, I have our, all the recipes unlocked anyway for most of the stuff in the game. I believe it was a uh, solar still, which is what we're trying to make in the first place. We need a sheet of glass. Okay, that seems simple enough. And so a sheet of glass is three refined sand and one limestone powder. We also need tongs. I forgot about tongs. Thankfully, I think you can make some wooden tongs. Yeah, you can make wooden tongs. Pretty simple. I think it's like one string and like... It adds like one string and one wooden pole to make tongs. Okay. And then we can light our kiln. 
We can make the sheet of glass. Maybe. And that sheet of glass... Make the solar still. That's literally it. And now, if you have this, you uh, put it down, you pour water in it, and then you just go do something. That's it. Water. Yay. That's the only thing I wanted to do on this little file is see how soon I could do that. And the answer, I guess, was like by day two. Eh, whatever. Pretty good. I could probably do it faster if I uh, tried a little harder, but I also was like afraid of going underground. But I probably shouldn't have been because we didn't even see anything down there, but... Yeah, that's gonna be where I end this stream. Another stream will be starting very shortly, though. So yeah, we're gonna end this fun game. Highly recommend if you like kind of that style of game, like survival games. It's also turn-based, so if that's kind of your thing, too, that might be up your alley. But yeah, that's gonna be this stream ended. I'll, another one will be very starting very soon. I'm literally gonna hop off here. Microwave this plate of stuff, eat some of it, and start the next stream. Because <laughs> it's just kind of how these days go. So, let's see if I can... Let's close that. Let's go to Twitch and see who's on. And I can raid into someone. I don't normally get to raid people during the afternoon because, well... Yeah, I, um, I normally stream in the mornings. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Eh, uh, I mean. Yeah, I think we'll, I think for now we'll just, uh, not raid. Just because it's not super, super impactful. But, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back probably by like 12 or 12, 15. So, I won't be gone long. <laughs> so, I'm, I'll see y'all later. And if I don't see y'all later, I'll see y'all next time. Enjoy your day.